In this video, I'm going to share with you ingredients that you must use in your skincare routine if you are 40 years old or above. Hi, my name is Lauren O'Connell and I am the beauty editor at Cosmopolitan Middle East Magazine. I'm also a skincare junkie, skincare beauty wellness junkie, and spirituality junkie. I have content on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and also my own website, planetlauren.com. I've also written my first ever ebook. It's called Manifest Like Lauren. And I wrote it because I am a master manifester. I can bring literally anything I want into my life. And it's a gift we actually all have. You just need to know how to tap into it. So I share my formula, my recipe, tips and tricks in a very fun, very easy to read 30 page book. Link is down below in the description box. So I am 40 years old now. I turned 40 last month and I have just ingredients that are non-negotiables. They just have to be in my skincare routine. Otherwise my skin just won't look as healthy as it can. And I do want to say I have a touch of Botox. I think I have Botox. It may have worn off, but you can see when I smile, I have two little crow's feet coming out right there and I have preventative Botox right here. Um, you can see I still have movement. I do baby Botox. I like to have movement in my face. I don't have any on my forehead. You can see I can move my forehead, but I actually just don't move my eyebrows when I talk. I have no idea why, I just don't. So that's one of the reasons why my forehead has stayed so smooth over the years. Also from the ingredients that I use in my skincare routine. So let's jump right into that. And the first product I wanna show you is vitamin C. But the thing about vitamin C is there are so many different types. I have found, in my opinion, what is the best one. It's called tetrahexyl decyl ascorbate. I know that's a mouthful. It is abbreviated most times to THD ascorbate, and you can find it in some serums. I use the CEO Glow by Sunday Riley. This contains the THD ascorbate. Why it's so good is because it is teeny, teeny tiny in size. So when you put it on your skin, it's able to seep deep down into your skin. Once it's in there, it undergoes a chemical reaction and it becomes L-ascorbic acid, which is pure vitamin C. That's what's going to give you the best results. Unfortunately, ascorbic acid on its own isn't very stable, but THD is incredibly stable. So you put it on your skin, let it sink down, it's gonna do its thing, and what you're gonna end up seeing is fewer fine lines and wrinkles, they're going to be minimized, you're going to have very bright skin. Right now, I'm just in my dark bathroom, I have a frosted glass window in front of me, and it's like, a tiny one it's not a big one and I don't even have any lights on so I mean my skin is bright and it is this THD ascorbate I kid you not uh, I'm actually up here sequestered in my bathroom because I have 11 no I'm sorry five 11 year old boys downstairs having a big party they're doing video games all day and eating probably Shake Shack so uh, this is the only place I can get a little bit of quiet but THD ascorbate needs to be in your skincare routine. It does have, it does come in a few different other products. I've seen it in Biosense. They have a squalane and vitamin C rose oil serum that also has THD ascorbate. Personally, I like this one better. I think because this product has turmeric in it and turmeric is also very brightening. So that is the vitamin C that you must use. Another ingredient that I just swear by is lactic acid. This is an alpha hydroxy acid and it is one that is going to exfoliate the skin but it also has a secondary moisturizing benefit. It's more of a gentle exfoliator than glycolic acid because the molecules of lactic acid are quite large so they just can't sink into the skin as deeply. I love the Sunday Riley Good Jeans lactic acid treatment. I use this every single night and I feel like my skin is always just well exfoliated. It looks bright. There's just no dead skin on my face. So lactic acid is an absolute must have for me and it should be for you too. And keep in mind, I also always put it on my neck 
and I put it on my chest as well. If you have a lot of pigmentation on your chest from the sun, just start putting your vitamin C, your lactic acid, and your retinol, which I'll get to in just a minute, on your chest, and you will see it start to really minimize in appearance, and your skin tone will be more evened out, if that's something you're going for. I'm also a huge fan of ceramides. Ceramides are part of our outer skin structure. So our skin's the stratum corneum, and part of it is the ceramides. Ceramides are responsible for keeping our skin's barrier strong. What it does is it's going to hold in water into the skin, and that means the skin's going to stay hydrated, and when the skin is hydrated, it's gonna just look nicely plumped and moisturized, just healthy. And it's also responsible for making our skin elastic and just looking more, I hate to word, use the word youthful because honestly at 40 years old I feel like it is such a privilege to be 40. I still feel youthful and I always think of how many people didn't make it to 40 and here I am and I just you know to me it's not that I want to anti-age but I'm just I'm just content with where I am in life so I don't tend to use those words but it's going to just keep the skin very soft and supple. I like to infuse ceramides a few different ways into my skincare routine. The first one is with a cleanser. This is the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser, and this is just packed with ceramides. It also has hyaluronic acid in it, which is a great plumper for the skin. It's going to sink into the skin and hold on to water, just keeping skin hydrated and plumped up. And this is a product that you can just find online for, I wanna say it's more of a wallet-friendly product. I never like to use the word budget because everyone has different budgets. So this still might be, you know, someone saves up for this or, you know, if this is a, a serious purchase for them. And I respect that, I understand that. That's why I will never call this a budget cleanser, but I would maybe say it's more friendly to the wallet. You can also get ceramides other ways into the skin. I like to use the Drunk Elephant Ceramide AF Eye Balm and their Lala Retro Whipped Cream. I have very dry skin. These are wonderful, wonderful moisturizers. So these are going to really, once again, not only moisturize and nourish the skin, they're going to work to really keep that water inside the skin to keep the skin's barriers, to keep the skin's why can't I say this? The skin's barrier strong, and it's going to help to minimize any sort of fine lines or wrinkles you have. I tend to get them around my eyes. If I didn't take great care of my skin, my face would look like a raisin because it is so dry. I'm so fair, and these are the ingredients I need just to keep me looking healthy and alive. So those are very important. Next, I wanna get into the retinol. Now, I personally am not a fan of using tretinoin, which is the prescription strength retinol, and that's because I just find it's a little bit too harsh on my skin. What I do love are retinoid esters. Now, retinoid esters are sort of a more new category of retinols, and they basically work just as well as tretinoin, but they don't have as much of a harsh effect on the skin. So let, uh, the Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Night Oil contains a retinoid ester. There is the Grand Active Retinoid, which if that is one you want to go for, that is one I will say I highly, highly, highly recommend. And it's going to do exactly what retinols do with renewing the collagen and speeding up the cell turnover so you're just having fresh skin. Because once again, when we hit 25, everything starts to seem to fall apart. <laughs> In terms of the, the uh, our body's processes just aren't working as they used to. I was just looking for this one. Now this is by The Ordinary. This is the Grand Active Retinoid 2% Emulsion. I have used this one as well. This is just the retinoid on its own. And this is one I also highly recommend. You can find this online for quite, it's a wallet friendly product. This one is more of a uh, it's luxury retinol. It's absolutely a luxury retinol. It does contain other ingredients in it to really just help to brighten, renew, refresh the skin, whereas this one is only the retinoid on its own. Both of them are great. I recommend both. I prefer this one. So moving on, we need to talk about 
peptides. Peptides are funny ingredients. What they do, you wherever you put a peptide on your face, it sends a signal to your brain that there is an injury at that site. Then your brain thinks, okay, well, I need to start producing more collagen to send some signals back for more collagen production wherever that injury is to heal it. So you can see where that's going. The more collagen production is, of course, going to give you firmer, smoother skin. So the peptides that I tend to use, and you'll see that I am loyal to a few brands, and that's just because, honestly, the ingredients in them are just so good. I can't find my cream right now. I don't know where I put that, but that's okay, because I also have this. This is the Shaba Complex Eye Serum. So I put this on underneath my eye cream, and this is full of peptides. So this is going to really help to just keep producing more collagen in this area so my eyes just don't look as wrinkly, as old, as tired. They just look fresh, and it truly, truly works. I've been using these products for a few years now, and I have seen just a drastic change to my skin. So lastly, an ingredient, oh, I have two more. Two more ingredients that I swear by are, of course, sunblock. This is the most important one, in my opinion, and this is the best sunblock on the market. It's the Super Goop Play SBF 50, and this is a broad spectrum sunblock, meaning it's going to counteract both the UVA and UVB rays. UVB rays are the ones that burn our skin. The UVA rays are the silent agers. They're the ones that are going to give us wrinkles and lines, pigmentation, all of those things. UVA rays can pass through windows, so it's important you always wear your SPF even when you're indoors. This is a chemical sunblock. It is reef safe, it's cruelty free, all of those great things. It's only packed with the best ingredients. And what it happens is when you put it on your skin, your skin will absorb the sun rays and then a chemical reaction happens and the sun rays go bounce back off your skin, but they dissipate as heat. So your skin isn't being damaged. I've been living in Dubai for the past 14 years of my life. I am literally like the whitest person and I have managed to keep my skin looking so healthy because I protect it from the sun all the time. So yes, I highly, highly recommend this. Mineral sunscreens are ones where when you wear them, they will just kind of create a shield on your skin and the light can't penetrate through. The problem with mineral sunscreens is because they sit on your skin. If you tend to sweat, the uh, once you sweat, you just sweat it right off or you get wet, anything, and then your skin's completely exposed. That's why I always choose to use chemical. Lastly, the ingredient I can't live without is I think the fountain of youth. It is squalene. This is by Biosense. There's, squal there's all different types of squalene oil brands. I always buy Biosense. I just think it's phenomenal. And this is 100% squalene oil. This comes from olives. And what it is, is it replicates this natural moisturizing factor we have called squalene in our bodies. And as we get older, the amount of squalene that we just naturally make starts to dissipate. So once you hit about 25, our body stops, starts making less and less squalene. So squalene, once again, natural moisturizing factor on the skin. Kids are full of it. My teenager has it, my son has it, and that's why they have just such beautiful plumped up skin. And when we hit 25, it stops, our body stop producing it. So what we can do is use squalene, which is a more stable version. Squalene is not stable outside of the body, but squalene is. Two chemical reactions have to take place in a lab to create squalene, and we can just apply it topically to our skin afterwards. Our skin drinks it up, and it just moisturizes us like crazy. It is so good. I use it all over my body, and sometimes I'll even put a touch, literally a touch of it in my hair. A little bit goes a very long way. But those are all ingredients that you really should be using in your skin once you hit the age of 40, even before 40, but now at 40, it's so, it's so important because it's going to keep your skin healthy. It's going to keep your skin vibrant and radiant. And I truly believe that when we just are happy with our appearance on the outside, it just makes us feel so much better on the inside. And then we put better energy out there into the world. So if you're wondering what my morning skincare routine is, the all the products I use and the order I use them in, check it out right here.